My father had shortness of breath. We were referred to the cardiologist through the hospital here. So my dad came to see him and we weren't sure if it was lung related or heart related. And it was just getting progressively worse and worse and worse with the breathing. They ran all sorts of tests and just found out that he had this aortic stenosis and that's how we wound up coming here. The procedure was a TAVR procedure that we did um, under conscious sedation, so it was done without general anesthesia and it was done from the femoral artery with catheters with no surgical incisions. We thread a valve from the, the femoral artery up and placed it inside his original valve. The procedure took about 40 minutes. FDA has approved TAVR for patients who are intermediate risk, high risk, and extreme risk or inoperable. So you were a low risk patient and that's a big percentage of the, of the patient population. So if the data is encouraging, then it would open up an avenue for uh, another big segment of the population that would be able to, to have this procedure routinely, not part of a research trial. But, you know, that data is pending and we'll, we'll have to, to see. The, the challenge is for us to be as good as, as the surgeons are and we'll find out if we can do that. We've been fortunate to be involved in this from the beginning with respect to the treatment uh, to demonstrate the value of transcatheter valve therapy. We've worked together as a team, both the surgeons and the cardiologists, with respect to this. If somebody meets the criteria to be a candidate, then uh, half the patients get um, assigned by a computer to the surgical val valve group and half get assigned to the, the catheter-based or TAVR valve group. So the FDA has approved transcatheter therapy for extreme risk and high risk patients and it is moving toward the intermediate risk group as well. And as in this case, we're testing the validity or the equivalent nature of the therapy with respect to transcatheter therapy and surgery. And what I think is most important is that every patient should be approached as a team. Okay. That yeah. way we can decide what's going to be the best therapy uh, for the patient. And in the end, the, the patient uh, is the one that benefits. A month out, he's feeling much better and uh, his symptoms have resolved. Um, so it, I think it was overall a great success and he's back to his life and feeling a few years younger, right? Yeah, yeah. He's considered young and healthy, which normally doesn't fit the criteria for the TAVR. You have to be older and high risk, and he wasn't that. He was young and healthy, so we were glad that we participated and he was given this opportunity. It's been about, yeah, a month. That's it. Oh, my gosh. Exactly one month. Yeah. έξω από την εγχείρηση. Επίτα πολλές μέρες. About after one week, you say, "Oh my God, this is very, very good."